How's it going guys? Welcome back to Mojo Grip Mike here. Today we're gonna talk about priming. So it's come up a few times in the comment section. Everyone is asking, uh, when are you gonna prime the airplane? How are you gonna protect against rust and corrosion and things like that? So for anyone who is not well familiar with this process or you don't know what I'm talking about, I'm gonna try to explain what priming is and why it is extremely important to prime the parts of the airplane while you're building. So generally speaking, if you were to buy an airplane, say from factory or one that's factory built, all these things are already done for you. You know, they do it from the factory before they paint the airplane. They apply whatever uh, chemicals or priming solution to protect the material of that airplane. Now, if you're building an airplane by yourself or in your garage or with a group of friends, this is a process that you have to apply yourself. And priming is basically uh, something you, or primer is what you apply to the aircraft, uh, mainly the parts or the joints. So for example, any time you have two pieces of metal, or in this case, we've got some aluminum and some fiberglass with the Sling TSI, Whenever you have two parts coming together, you need to apply something there to protect it against rust and corrosion. Now, some builders may not prime the parts of the airplane. Obviously, it's that's not a good idea. If you're building an airplane, you wanna prime and protect uh, the build material from mother nature, basically. So if you, say for example, live in wetter parts of the country. So I'm based in Atlanta, Georgia, where it rains like crazy, compared to say maybe drier environment like Los Angeles. So you can, well, okay, if I'm in a dry state, then perhaps I don't really need to protect uh, my plane against rust and corrosion. But the truth of the matter is, it's best that no matter where you live, it's, it's best to apply some type of protection uh, for your airplane. And so again, a primer is something you apply to protect joints and just the airplane in general. And you know, if you look at some accident history, for example, you've heard of airplanes, maybe the wing breaking off, and these are maybe from older airplanes that were built with metals. Uh, so these are some of the safety risks or risks that you could be taking if you fly an airplane that was built 50, 60 years ago, and you know parts or, or the joint where the wing is attached is corroded, or you have rust there, that can make the material break down to the point where you know it becomes unsafe. And so the process basically is you apply this liquid or chemical to uh, protect the material of that airplane and then you apply your paint. Now generally the way it goes is, and I, I spoke to a painter about this too, uh, particularly the person who's gonna be painting my airplane whenever it's done. Now as you guys have come along with my airplane build, you see that I haven't really applied any primer solution uh, to, to, the, to the build or to the airplane. And I'll tell you the reason why. So. If I wanted to prime this material right here, first you put in a filler, you apply the primer, and then you, you, you come back, you, you actually know, once you apply the primer, you have to wait. In some cases, you may have to wait a few days, let it dry off, you come in, you sand it to have a smooth surface, and then you apply paint. So this is typical if you're applying primer on the outside skin or the outside of the aircraft. Okay, now if you're just applying primer to the interior, which is very important again, because interior is where you have a lot of joints and things coming together, um, you just spray in the primer, okay? You, you spray in your stuff, you live it that way, because the interior generally, you, you don't have to paint it. But with the exterior where you have to apply paint afterwards, you wanna make sure that surface is clean and smooth. So once you apply all the stuff you need to apply for the primer solution, then you let it dry, you come back, you sand it, you smoothen the edges, and then you apply paint. Now, this is a process, like I said, it would take a couple of days in some cases, but guess what though? If you don't do it right, so again, oftentimes, because with kit builds, it's just one guy or a couple of people that are not necessarily professionals at this. So if you were painting stuff yourself or you were applying primer yourself, you may not necessarily do it the right way. 
and doing it the wrong way is actually worse than not doing it at all. And you also have to think sometimes the primary solution that you apply may wear off. So say you prime the part first and then you have to drill holes, you have to put screws in, whatever the case may be, you may actually wear out the primary solution that you, you put in at first or whenever the joints come together or you apply paint. Sometimes paint can also remove uh, your primary solution. So there are all these things. It's not a 100% protection, but it's something. And you still have all these little things that could take it out. Uh, and so that's why for those reasons, uh, we're trying something different with my airplane build. So instead of just applying primer all over, what we're trying to do is have a different solution. And I'll talk about that in a future video. As a matter of fact, I'm hoping I can get everything on camera for you guys so you can see what the process is like. But I, I wanted to talk about this for those of you who have been asking in the comment section. And also, if you're not educated about this process, this is basically what it is. Okay, so I hope this brings some understanding to it. Uh, if I didn't explain it well, please let me know in the comments. Again, I'm not an expert in this, but I'm also learning as I'm going. Uh, but I wanted to, to answer this question for those of you who have been asking. Now, on a future video, like I said, we'll have the process on video for you guys so you can see what we're doing. I am gonna prime the airplane, just not in the conventional way that it's been done before. I, I We wanna try a different solution that's to me that has more protective measures than, than what's normally done. Okay, so I hope you guys enjoy this one. If you did, please give a thumbs up. And if this is your first time, make sure you subscribe to Mojo Group. Also, if you notice, I'm wearing a different gear today. Uh, you guys can see the link for this t-shirt in the description below. Also check out the description of the video for detailed explanation of all the stuff I just spewed on here. Okay, and that is it for me today, and I will catch you on the next video.